an interstellar object whirling through our solar system is actually a nuclear-powered spacecraft sent by aliens to test how humans respond. Uh, with zero meaning it's a natural object, like a comet, for sure. And 10 meaning it's definitely a technological object. The comet is catching the attention of some of the nation's most renowned scientists. As one Harvard professor is raising the theory, this may actually be a piece of alien technology. Scientists just spotted something massive hurtling through space toward our moon. 3i Atlas, discovered on July 1st by NASA, isn't your average space rock. It's from another star system. Harvard scientists are even suggesting it might be alien technology on a collision course with our lunar neighbor. This mountain-sized interstellar visitor is moving at mind-blowing speeds that would create an explosion visible from Earth. Could we be about to witness the most spectacular cosmic event in human history? What if this alien visitor changes our moon forever? And the biggest question, is this really just a random collision or something more? The discovery that shocked scientists. On July 1st, something incredible happened that would change how we think about space forever. The NASA-funded Atlas survey discovered an object they named 3i Atlas racing through our solar system at speeds that made scientists do double takes. This wasn't just another space rock floating around. Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb immediately caught everyone's attention when he suggested that 3i Atlas might actually be some type of alien technology sent here from another solar system. When one of the world's most respected scientists from Harvard University starts talking about alien technology, people listen. What made this discovery so shocking was where 3i Atlas came from. This object never formed in our solar system like normal asteroids do. Instead, it got thrown out from the chaotic beginnings of a distant star system, then traveled for millions of years through the cold, empty space between stars. Scientists recognized it as part of a rare class of interstellar objects, joining famous visitors like Oumuamua and Tu Iborosov. But 3i Atlas had something different planned for our neighborhood that would make it way more important than those previous visitors. The trajectory of 3i Atlas showed something that made scientists nervous. Early tracking suggested it would just skim past the Earth-Moon system like a tourist taking photos. But as more observatories around the world tracked the object and got better data, a disturbing possibility emerged. The refined calculations weren't pointing toward a safe flyby anymore. Instead, the numbers pointed toward a direct collision course with our moon. This transformed 3i Atlas from an interesting cosmic curiosity into something that would directly affect our nearest neighbor in space. The alignment of this object's path seemed almost too perfect to be random. Scientists noticed that the trajectory was very well aligned with the planets in our solar system. This unusual alignment made some researchers wonder if this really was just a random chunk of rock, or if there might be something more deliberate about its journey through space. The speed alone was unlike anything they had seen from typical solar system asteroids, moving with the incredible velocity of something that had traveled between stars. What makes 3i Atlas different from other space rocks? Understanding what makes 3i Atlas so special requires looking at how it moves and where it comes from. Regular asteroids in our solar system follow predictable paths around our sun, kind of like cars on a highway that never changes. But 3i Atlas blazes through space with interstellar velocity, meaning it moves much faster than anything that belongs to our solar system. This speed difference is crucial because it tells us this object has been traveling through the galaxy for a very long time. The size estimates make the situation even more dramatic. Scientists calculated that 3i Atlas measures somewhere between several hundred meters and over a kilometer across. To put that in perspective, imagine a mountain-sized chunk of alien rock moving at incredible speed straight toward the moon. Unlike Earth, our moon has no atmosphere to slow down or break apart incoming objects. There would be no friction, no protective shield, Nothing to reduce the devastating impact when it arrives. What really sets 3i Atlas apart is the materials it carries with it. This object brings the composition and history 
of an entirely alien environment. When normal asteroids hit the moon, they just add more of the same types of materials we already find in our solar system. But 3i Atlas would deposit matter from a distant star system, seeding the moon with materials never before found in our celestial neighborhood. Think of it as receiving a geological time capsule that traveled across light years of space, only to be smashed open upon arrival. The energy release from such a collision would be beyond anything humans have directly witnessed on a planetary surface. When 3i Atlas hits the moon, it will be like watching the universe deliver a cosmic punch in real time. Since the moon has no atmosphere, every bit of that interstellar energy gets transferred directly into the lunar surface. This creates an explosion that would dwarf anything in recorded history, making it a truly unique event for humanity to witness. The moon is about to get hit by alien material. The moon has been getting hit by space rocks for over four and a half billion years, and its cratered face tells that story perfectly. But the idea of an interstellar object delivering a fresh scar carries almost poetic implications. This wouldn't be just another impact from familiar space debris. This would be matter from another star system, leaving its permanent mark on the world we see every night. If 3i Atlas strikes the lunar surface, the visual spectacle could be absolutely staggering. Even if the collision happens on the far side of the moon, seismic waves would ripple through the entire lunar interior. These vibrations would be detectable by instruments still stationed there from past missions, giving scientists incredible data about what's happening inside the moon. But if the impact occurs on the near side facing Earth, the sight would be unforgettable. A massive plume of debris could rise hundreds of kilometers above the surface, visible from Earth as a brilliant burst of light against the darkness. For anyone looking up at the sky that night, the moon would no longer appear as the distant and serene companion that has watched over humanity throughout history. Instead, it would become the stage for a cosmic drama on a scale reserved for geological time periods. The peaceful, familiar face of the moon would be forever changed by violence from the stars. The implications reach far beyond just the immediate spectacle. Our moon isn't just a pretty light in the sky that we write poems about. It plays a crucial role in stabilizing Earth's climate and controlling our ocean tides. The moon's gravitational influence keeps our planet's rotation steady, preventing wild climate swings that could make life much more difficult. While an impact from 3i Atlas wouldn't knock the moon out of orbit or shatter it completely, adding a massive new crater and redistributing its mass could have subtle but measurable consequences. What happens when something this big hits the moon? When 3i Atlas finally reaches the moon, the collision will create effects that scientists have only been able to study in computer simulations until now. The object will slam into the lunar surface with no atmospheric resistance to slow it down. All that interstellar energy will transfer directly into the moon's crust, creating an explosion of incredible magnitude. The immediate result will be a crater that could be dozens of kilometers across, depending on the exact size and composition of 3i Atlas. The impact will excavate material from deep below the lunar surface, scattering it across a wide region. This gives scientists access to subsurface material without needing heavy drilling equipment. Companies interested in harvesting lunar resources might suddenly find the impact site very attractive, since freshly unearthed materials would be relatively easy to access. The moon would essentially become a treasure chest opened by the cosmos itself. Material ejected from the lunar surface could achieve escape velocity, scattering fragments into space that might form temporary dust clouds around the moon. Such a phenomenon would be remarkable, transforming the familiar Earth-Moon relationship into something visually different. The sight of a delicate lunar ring or halo of dust, however short-lived, would be unlike anything humanity has ever observed directly. Even if the material eventually dispersed, telescopes and satellites would have weeks or months to study how dust and rock behave in zero-gravity environments. The seismic effects would be equally dramatic. The collision would turn the moon into a giant bell struck by an interstellar hammer. Vibrations would travel through the moon's interior, 
providing scientists with unprecedented data about its internal structure. This could reveal details about the Moon's crust, mantle, and possibly even its mysterious core. Understanding how seismic waves move through the Moon could resolve long-standing mysteries about how it formed and whether it still contains pockets of molten material. Why scientists are both excited and worried. For the scientific community, the potential collision represents an unprecedented opportunity that has researchers both thrilled and concerned. Most of the time, planetary scientists study ancient impact craters long after the violence has ended. They reconstruct what happened using computer models and chemical analysis of old rocks. But three, iAtlas offers something incredibly rare, the chance to watch a major planetary impact happen in real time. Telescopes around the world would capture the event across every spectrum of light, analyzing the chemistry and energy release as it unfolds. This would be like having front row seats to a natural experiment on a scale beyond anything that could ever be simulated in a laboratory. The moon would become not only a target of curiosity, but a laboratory for understanding the processes that shape planetary bodies under extreme conditions. The worry comes from what this event reveals about planetary defense capabilities. Humanity has spent decades cataloging near-Earth asteroids, projecting their paths years ahead to prepare for potential collisions. But 3i Atlas represents a new category of cosmic threat, interstellar bodies that arrive without long-term predictability. These objects cut through the solar system with immense speeds and trajectories that only become clear when it's too late to do anything about them. While this particular object targets the Moon rather than Earth, it raises serious questions about how vulnerable our planet really is. Traditional asteroids follow familiar orbital patterns that astronomers can predict decades in advance. Interstellar visitors like 3i Atlas don't follow those rules. They appear suddenly, move incredibly fast, and only reveal their true paths when deflection becomes nearly impossible. Current deflection techniques like kinetic impactors work well for slow-moving solar system asteroids, but an interstellar object traveling at exceptional velocity becomes essentially unstoppable. How this changes everything we know about space defense. The confirmation that 3i Atlas could impact the Moon highlights a troubling gap in planetary defense that nobody really thought about before. Space agencies have built entire programs around tracking objects that belong to our solar system. But interstellar visitors play by completely different rule. They don't announce their arrival years in advance, like regular asteroids do. Instead, they show up moving at incredible speeds with trajectories that can only be calculated precisely when they're already too close to stop. Current space telescopes and survey programs like ATLAS, SOHO, and SWAN detected 3II ATLAS, but the precision needed to predict its lunar impact shows how much better our observation systems need to become. Next-generation infrared telescopes, wide field surveys, and advanced radar arrays could catch these objects earlier, providing more preparation time. The potential lunar collision strengthens arguments for international cooperation on sky monitoring systems that combine resources from multiple nations. For engineers working on planetary defense strategies, 3i Atlas presents unique challenges that existing technology simply can't handle. Deflection techniques that work great for regular asteroids become useless when dealing with something moving at interstellar velocity. By the time we spot these objects and calculate their paths, they're already committed to whatever collision course they're on. The speeds involved make traditional deflection methods nearly powerless. This realization is forcing scientists to think about planetary defense in completely new ways. Instead of trying to deflect interstellar objects, maybe the focus should be on early warning systems that give people time to prepare for impacts. Or perhaps the solution involves developing much more powerful deflection technologies that can work at the extreme speeds 
these objects travel. The Moon's encounter with 3i Atlas could become humanity's crash course in dealing with threats from beyond our solar system. The technology race to study this cosmic event. The anticipated impact has triggered a massive technological mobilization as scientists around the world prepare to capture every detail of this once-in-a-lifetime event. Space agencies are redirecting satellites, repositioning telescopes, and planning new missions specifically to study what happens when 3i Atlas hits the moon. This level of coordinated scientific response shows just how important researchers consider this opportunity to be. Instruments would need to be tuned to capture the immense energy release across wavelengths from radio waves to gamma rays. Orbital satellites might be redirected to position themselves for optimal viewing angles. Robotic missions already en route to the moon could be retasked to set up seismometers and imaging equipment near the anticipated impact zone. The event serves as a rehearsal for a future where humanity must quickly adapt its tools to capture unexpected cosmic phenomena. The international cooperation required for this effort highlights how modern space science depends on global collaboration. Observatories around the world, satellites in orbit, computational models from universities, and data pipelines within NASA all need to work together to piece together what happens during the collision. No single country or organization has all the tools needed to fully document such an event. This forces nations to share resources and coordinate their efforts in ways that benefit everyone. Private companies are also getting involved in ways that show how commercial space has matured. Companies like SpaceX and Blue Origin might find themselves working alongside government space agencies, pooling resources to ensure the event gets documented from every possible angle. The collision could serve as a turning point in space politics, highlighting the need for global cooperation rather than competition when it comes to understanding cosmic events that affect everyone. What this means for future moon missions and humanity. The potential collision would dramatically affect existing plans for lunar exploration and colonization that numerous countries and private companies are developing. Missions to establish bases, extract resources, and eventually create permanent settlements on the moon would face a landscape suddenly and violently transformed. Everything from rover routes to landing site coordinates would have to be recalculated to account for the new crater and debris field. The scientific allure of studying a fresh impact site would certainly draw missions, but it would also demand new safety calculations. New dust deposits might blanket large regions, obscuring geological features that mission planners had studied for years. Radiation from the impact's energy release could temporarily affect sensitive equipment. Seismic vibrations might alter underground structures in ways that matter for future habitat construction. However, the commercial opportunities could be enormous. Companies interested in mining lunar resources would suddenly become very interested in the fresh crater created by 3i Atlas. The site wouldn't just contain regular lunar material, but also exotic interstellar matter that might be incredibly valuable. Rare isotopes, unusual minerals, or entirely new compounds could create a rush of investment in lunar mining operations. What was once a speculative business venture could become an urgent priority overnight. For humanity as a whole, witnessing such an event would create a shared experience unlike anything in recorded history. People from every continent, culture, and background would look up at the same dramatic moment, watching cosmic forces that dwarf all human concern. It would be one of those rare events that unites the entire planet in common wonder and perhaps a bit of fear. The psychological impact would remind everyone that we live in a dynamic, sometimes violent universe where even familiar celestial bodies can be dramatically changed without warning. Thanks for watching another episode. While you are still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more quality content.